Well, hello and good morning. And welcome to Fortnite. This is where we have the, the game developers. Please turn your sound down. Moment, guys. Um, this is the Battle Royale mode of Fortnite, which, as of today, which is the 23rd of September, is not free, but will be free to play beginning on Monday, uh, the 25th of September. Uh, so I thought I'd get a little jump in and see what it looks like. Uh, I want to point out a couple of things to start out with. First of all, there's only, right now, there's only individual gameplay. There's no teaming, no solo, but it's all solo, so technically teaming is unfair to other players and considered a bannable offense. That being said, uh, if you watch almost any streamer on Twitch, uh, you will see that there is a shitload of stream of teaming in the Battle Royale mode right now. Um, so, <coughs> unlike, <coughs> unlike... PVG, which is the obvious comparison here. We're gonna start this game with all the stuff we would start a Fortnite game with. So our, our pickaxe, and that's gonna be one of the biggest differences. We also don't have a sprint and jumping is like super cartoony and easy, as opposed to like PUBG where jumping is like playing Dark Souls. Um, this is the starter island. There should be a hundred of us. So the biggest difference here is that you know if if I had materials, which I don't, but if I did, I could build stuff, um, stairs and things to reach items. Okay, so here we have our map of our island, um, and then we also have our bus, which we everybody's in, it's a party bus, of course, hanging out in the party bus. Uh, you'll see people jumping out. Quite a lot of people already jumped. Look at that. That's a lot of people. We're gonna... We're gonna give it a few more seconds here. Yeah, let's jump and then we also can deploy a glider. Now we're gonna aim for some buildings. <clears throat> Loot works a lot differently in this game than it does in PUBG, because in PUBG, loot is just kind of laying on the ground. Here you'll mostly find it in chests. I deployed my glider much too early. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, I don't really feel see a lot of other people, so that's a good sign. Uh, that's cool, I can turn my glider on and off. And then it automatically deploys at the bottom. Nice. Cool. So we're gonna land down here. I can already hear people shooting. Good times. Great landing. Ten out of ten. So we're going to be able to break down pretty much anything in the game. There, we got a pistol. This chest has already been looted. Uh, guns come with ammo already, which is nice. There's someone behind me. I'm probably going to die. Oh my god, shooting is really cartoony. Um, so, in direct conflict to the tight arcade shooting of the, the, the tight, almost realistic shooting that comes with Battle Royale, um, comes with PUBG. The shooting here is very arcadey. Let's see if we can not die immediately this time. I like not dying immediately, at least. Um, let's go down to Anarchy Acres. That'll work. It's just the town down here. So 
and <clears throat> just like PVG, we're gonna make sure that we don't deploy until the very end. Deploy our shoot till the very end this time. We've probably got an ass load of people with us, because that's how this game works. One thing that's definitely different about this game is that you can, like, land on a roof and just kind of bust your way through the roof. So if I land up here on this house, let's see if there's any. I can't even see if there's anyone around me actually, because there's no like uh, look around button. But yeah, I can just kind of break through this roof and then see if we can have a fight with that guy. Okay, he's running. So we have a shotgun now and uh, hopefully he doesn't have anything good. I got him. And I have a health pack, so I could be able to, should be able to use that. <laughs> Let's use a few of those health packs and see if we can't... Uh... So we have <coughs> a blue shotgun, because this game was built as a looter shooter. There's a bunch of um, different loot rarities, which is really nice. So you can find like purple loot rarity stuff just like hanging out in the game. Oh, there's his shot. Oh, he also had a semi-auto rifle. Okay, that's nice. We'll take that. But it's just a gray, which means it's not not powerful. He should have gone a little bit farther and picked up a shotgun. There was one right here. He would have had at least a better chance against me. Here's a green semi-auto shotgun. Green is better than blue? I don't know. I'm not sure what the rarities are in this game. We're gonna use a door, which is like a novelty in this game, using doors. Um, we can see the circle is very far away if we look at the map. Quite a bit of distance away, but we can get there on foot. Uh, we should be okay. There's a slightly better semi-auto rifle. We'll take that. I'm not sure how to drop weapons, so... You can hear somebody over there blasting away with a semi-auto. They? there definitely aren't as many guns in Fortnite. Um, I think the Battle Royale ma mod is going to need some, some more guns. Well, that's close by. I'm lower on health than I want to be. Ooh, hey, there you go, rocket ammo. Rockets are a super powerful in this game. They're just long range, long distance killing machines uh, that absolutely annihilate other people. Well, a shield potion, that's useful. Oh, I see. We can replace the semi-auto rifle with shield potion. Well, that's that's very close indeed. Um, so now we have semi-auto rifle and we have a, a auto assault rifle. What's over here? Bricks. Okay. <laughs> World resources are mostly <clears throat> mostly used for building things. Uh, Love to get what the heck? That was weird. Bounced on something there. The only thing I have to really worry about this way is the snipers, because there's gonna be snipers. There's always snipers in the area. So I'm not really sure what this shield potion does, so I'm gonna drink it. Let's see what happens. There we go. I gained fifty shield. Cool. So right now we have shotgun, shotgun, rifle, rifle. We're going to stick with this rifle for now. Head on a swivel, right? And we could actually build cover, like if I really wanted to, I could build myself some cover to hide behind. Um, especially in an open field like this, it's kind of bad idea to do that because you'll die. <laughs> Everyone will know you're there. I mean, it doesn't look like natural cover, so. 
I think we're gonna make it to the circle though at least, which is good. I don't know if you can like crouch or hide or anything. There's doesn't look like there's a button for like dropping to the ground. Fuck this particular campsite right here. Yeah, I don't know, I just didn't didn't really that campsite wasn't my jam. Um, I also don't know how water works, so let's find out. I assume you can swim. Oh, it's the old method of the water is only ever as deep as your butt. Okay, well that works well, I guess. Now we're gonna cross this lake. We're definitely a little slower Then now uh, we would normally be here. That's okay. Let's see. Where is our map? Where do we want to go? Let's just kind of wander through the hills. Um, just like PBG, we landed in a hot zone, and now here we are. Suddenly quiet. It's suddenly quiet. Uh, you can see on the right how many people are left. We're down to 28 already, uh, which is not bad. And uh, we've got a minute and 31 until the gas starts closing in. Now, somebody else was here. We see there's guns here. We have a. Actually, gonna grab this SMG. Really good in close range. And then we're gonna replace this assault rifle with this assault rifle. But whoever it was, they, they were out of here real quick, looks like. So they didn't stick around. Which is great for us, because we don't really want to fight somebody that already murdered somebody else. They're probably better than us. But we did get an SMG and a green rifle out of the deal, so... We'll keep heading inland. Maybe we can catch that person in the back. Okay, I apologize for the cat meows, guys. There's a cat behind me, and she is meowing. Can't stop her. I think we'll just go this way, straight across. Don't really know about fall damage. Yeah, it looks like there is fall damage, so that happened. Uh, I could use some more health supplies. Oh, uh, that is a bridge built by a person. Hmm, interesting. So I can, if I press F1 here, actually it's F3, I need stairs. I can like build stairs here. Like, that's what he did. He built stairs like this. So there's some bandages there. And I can pick up some, some bandages. I need to drop these. How do I drop them? Yeah, there we go. I just needed to pick up, I guess, that instead. Alright, so it looks like bandages can only restore up to 75. Oh, and I just am fucking retarded and fell down again. Sorry, guys. I'm so dumb. So the bandages will only restore up to 75% health. I don't think there's anyone up here, so I don't know why I'm going up here. Yeah, there's definitely nobody up there. And I need to get to the circle, so let's go ahead and just keep running. No auto run in this game, so I'm just going to hold shift and keep running. The water is only as deep as my ankles, so no problem there. I fully expect to get shot in the head at some point. Yeah, this is my life. It's my life, it's my never. I'm sorry, copyright music isn't going to live forever, that's for sure. Uh, so let's see. As we come up over this hill with a minute and 16 seconds left, we have a little bit of time. Looks like we have an unlooted shack right here, so I'll probably head over there and see if I can loot that shack. We still don't have amazing weapons, so there's some way. Trust me, there's some, there's some way cool guns in this game. There's like pinks and purples and rare stuff. I see a bunch of stuff in the back of that truck. Uh, is there a little bit of green going in the back of that truck? There is, and more rockets. Rockets ammo. 
pump shotgun. Um, I think we'll keep the semi-auto instead. Well, here we have we don't need two semi-auto shotguns. But I don't know which one does more damage. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, Twenty-nine. This one. Yeah. Sixty-seven, seventy. Okay, so the blue does more damage than the green. So we'll we'll go back to the to that one. We're just inside the the storm eye, as it's called. Uh, if we look behind us, we should be able to see it when it closes. But I'm gonna keep heading towards it. I don't have. Okay, that was a sniper shot. Yeah, from way far away. We're just gonna keep going. That's a sniper shot from way far away. Sniper rifles in this game have bonkers amounts of it, of range. Uh, I was watching a friend stream this game just a couple of days ago, and he literally was killing people from the other side of the map with no problems at all. Uh, like, guy was just beast with that sniper rifle, and I don't wanna. I don't wanna get involved in that. I can still hear him over there shooting. So now we can, like, here's a good example of, of like, that. I know that guy's over there shooting, so I can just, oh boy. Oh, there's a big fight over here. Oh, there's a guy over here. He's building a little base, looks like, yep. Build them a little base inside the storm. Oh yeah, that's not teaming. Not teaming at all. Well, we got to ten, so top ten, so I'm pretty happy with that. I mean One thing that can happen is this stuff can get demolished right underneath you and that like really will mess up your day. Oh or there's somebody and there we go. We placed 10th. I'm okay with that. Uh, I had the wrong shotgun out. We should have switched to the other shotgun. But wow, that, that person had real good loot. Um, I'm going to watch till the end just because that way we can see what it looks like. Um, but that person killed the person with real good loot and then took the real good loot and killed me with it. So there's one of the sniper rifles in the game. Uh, you can see that uh, it is very... I mean, it looks like a sniper rifle. I don't know how else to describe it. It's not. Uh, it's not anything like super crazy or different. So this person is looks like watching over the hill there. I don't think I can change player perspectives. I don't think I get to choose who I'm spectating. I just spectate the person that killed me and then the person that killed them after that. So now that they're down to eight players, there's going to be a little more of this sort of hanging out in the zone. You can kind of see, if she turns around again, you'll be able to see a little bit of the, yeah, see the blue force field there is the eye of the storm, so it's the thing that pushes people back in. So now she's got, built herself a little base. Actually, I think she mostly used the base the other person had built. She is getting shot at. I don't know where from, though. That other rifle that she just pulled out that kind of looks like a scar, H is a um, is a more is a rare more rare rifle. So here you see how you can use the building mechanic to benefit yourself. She's kind of built herself a little trough to walk back and forth in, and uh, that trough is going to be where she kind of makes her stand. There's a guy in that house right there, that brick house, that has a machine gun. We're now down to seven total enemies. And there's another one over there. Sniper duel time. Sniper duel. So that's the sound of a rocket, and it just exploded right there against that metal. Rockets are slow moving, but very powerful. And they will mess up your day if they get close enough to you to hit you. Well, we 
got the sniper rifle back out. There you can clearly see the blue wall moving. Eye of the storm it's called here, but it's still just a blue wall. So now we've got at least two people who are building who have built bases. This person is engineer of the year. Here. So using that same inverted V formula. That lovely V formula that sort of sets up. Oh, and we're abandoning our base. Ah, there was a chest down there. That was a, one of those force field potions that I had. I drink that right up. We can see then she'll have that 50 shield. And there's an incoming rocket. It's hard to see where rockets come from, but you hear them coming, so you have some time. And that's a rocket launcher right there. Ah, now you can see where they're being fired from. This person has elected to leave their base to go and hunt down the rocket using person. This is very interesting to watch these sort of final duels. We're down to five people now. Let's see if she can sneak up and finish this guy off. Now the blue is also coming, so once his base is in the blue, he probably has to move or he dies, so. The slow plot of the blue wall. And it's down to four. She's grabbed my shotgun there. I think that's my shotgun, or the one that I had the blue, the uh, blue shotgun. There's somebody that knows where things are. Another shield potion. That's impressive. I don't think this this will last long with double shields. All right, so four people left, including our intrepid Ipu here, who killed us. I won't feel as bad if I get killed by the winner of the entire game, and I just won't feel quite as bad about my life. And then it's down to three. I saw a little glimmer of purple from that person, so let's see if anybody heads over there to loot, because that was a purple item. Which is this, like the rarest item. Yeah, 
looks like it's a purple sniper. Not a lot of area left inside the circle for three people, so... Now it's the waiting game. Comes that blue line. She missed her chance to grab any of the loot. So I hope this the rifle she already has is pink. Building some brick walls around herself in a brick staircase to make some cover. Oh, here, there's an enemy there. Using that scar to good to good effect. Nice slow rate of fire, but high damage when you hit that head. Meds are a lot rarer in this game than PUBG, and you really don't find them as often, so it's one of those things that ends up with difficult to find. So let's see. Let's see. We're down to two now, so it's just Epooch and what Epu and one other person. Epu and one a person. Who will be the winner? Building more. Wow, there's a big amount of loot over there. There's a fight over there, huh? So here we're once again seeing that that structure with the the V as allowing this person to go up and down in it. This is a, a good note for me because I've never really played this mode much, so this is a very good note for me on how to build a good defensible structure. Oh, that should be it right there. And actually, that assault rifle we saw was gold, is gold, which is the best rarity in the game, so seeing a gold assault rifle like that is pretty much not bad to die to. So that's the Battle Royale mode. You guys got to see one game that was my game and one game that was just, you know, dying uh, horribly. So uh, the rest of Fortnite is actually a entirely separate mode. Um, this is the Battle Royale mode, but if we go back, we can... There's another mode here, which is a competitive PvE adventure, which I will be showing you guys some gameplay of later when I get the rest of the Kitsuka crew on to play. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter. It's at Kitsuka Gaming. Check us out. We have a Facebook group too. And of course, check out the website www.kitsuka.com.